we have received an exclusive information from the army sources that at 6:45 a.m. today morning itself three terrorists actually try to infiltrate through the uh, Hatlanga Nala along the line of control in Uri sector remember we were just talking about the infiltration bid at the Uri sector and now this is the big breaking news coming in from the army sources itself those have revealed to us that at 6:45 am this morning three terrorists actually try to infiltrate through the Hatlanga Nala along the line of control in Uri sector two out of these three have been killed and the third terrorist got injured in trying to exfiltrate being aided by pakistan army post the operation is still in progress that's another dirty bit being played by pakistan we'll understand more about this from cnn news 18's ishan wani joining me live on the broadcast ishan what latest details do you have about these three terrorists that we are talking about uh, along the line of control in uri sector and what is the condition of that third terrorist who got injured uh, well uh, sources are telling us that uh, he is injured and he is trying to move back uh, and that is why a uh, wider operation is still going on in the area searches are taking place earlier one militant was killed there who tried to infiltrate into indian territory and after that uh, you know multiple teams of uh, the indian army and the police swung into action and killed one more militant uh, we told by sources is that uh, the third uh, uh, you know militant who was trying to sneak in uh, injured and they are being uh, supported uh, by uh, the pakistan force from across uh, and uh, without their help uh, you know the forces have been saying it clearly uh, that uh, they cannot infiltrate because without their help and without their aid it's not possible for them to infiltrate to the indian territory and say seems the case here as well where one injured terrorist is now trying to sneak back uh, these militants had come in the early morning hours when the movement was directed by the army uh, though the information was about one to two militants and then uh, you know what force discovered was that there were three group of three militants who were trying to sneak in uh, there was a massive gunfire that took place that broke out in the hatlanga forest area uh, it's in uri uh, which has not seen so many of infiltration attempts as compared to kopara keran uh, machel and other areas of kopara district uh, uri is in baramula again uh, but yes uh, uh, now is the time when most of the infiltration attempts will take hmm. place one because this winter will start setting in and hmm. then the traditional passes will receive snowfall which will make it hard for them to infiltrate to this part of Kashmir. Uh, so yes, yeah. uh, this is an attempt which is being made to send as many as possible and intel sources are already telling us that there is a push from Pakistan to make sure that there is a um, uh, you know minimum maximum amount of militants who are on the launching pads to be sent in these locations. Definitely. Ishan, as we were just talking about uh, the winter and how it is that going to make it difficult for our army, I want to understand understand from you uh, the geographical location and how does that exactly give an uh, advantage to the Pakistan for these infiltrations bid that are happening currently. Well, there are certain locations where these natural locations are from where we have seen infiltrations earlier also taking place. These are the areas which have been traditional routes and are easy to navigate for them and they know that route in and out. But yes, forces have, uh, you know, installed a multi-layer anti-infiltration grid and there are thermal imaging cameras and other digital gadgets which help uh, these, uh, you know, um, uh, army uh, to track all those of them down and so that they are well seen and directed on time and that is the case here as well where the early movement was directed by security forces and then uh, you know this operation was launched uh we speak also there's an operation also going on in uh, you know this place where I'm standing right now in Anatnag so there are multiple operations that are taking place currently and there seems to be a push uh, from the across to make sure that the pot is kept boiling and uh, to make sure that uh, you know these kind of attempts happen and maximum number of militants are sent across but as of now uh, this operation here in Anatnag is also going on uh, though there has been a calm in the number of uh, firings and the attacks that have taken place towards that particular hideout which is there uh, but yes uh, you know geography plays an important part in that particular uh, uh, context uh, hmm. one uh, that uh, now the drones are being used from the Jammu side we have seen already the drugs and weaponry is being sent by drones uh, you know to Jammu and then transported to Kashmir and uh, even in the Jammu Prajuri Punch belt we have already seen the drone use has been there uh, but uh, you know government has also made uh, strong uh, you know uh, things available for the army uh, for the uh, forces who are guiding the border so that the drones could be directed well on time and they could be brought down uh, yes it's not easy for them to navigate through drones uh, in Kashmir Valley because the mountains are high and uh, you know forces us on the mountain peaks and they can direct the movement uh, hmm. but let's see that how long does this operation last while the searches in Uri are also ongoing. Well Ishan I request you to please hold on thank you so much for bringing in all those details we are